There are a million and one different ways to color grade an image in Photoshop, but I want to show you kind of a cool color grading trick that I think goes largely unnoticed by a lot of Photoshop users and photographers. I've got a, a camera raw image here in Photoshop, and I can, I've can i opened it in Photoshop, I should say, as a smart object. So I can just double click the thumbnail, and it's going to reopen uh, the camera raw editor, as you can see here. Now, in the camera raw editor, there is a tab called camera calibration. And in this tab, you can choose a camera profile. You can see camera faithful, landscape neutral. These different profiles do all kinds of different things to your highlights and shadows. Very subtle differences. Portrait brings out the highlight on his forehead a little bit more. Landscape might be a little bit more saturated or have a little bit more orange in it. Faithful is a little more desaturated, a little less contrast, maybe more cinematic look. Neutral tends to be my favorite. It has a little bit of like uh, grittiness and, and like uh, it's just cinematic enough. Doesn't have enough. It doesn't have too much contrast. You can also do things like shifting your shadows to pour more green into the image or pour more magenta into the image. Maybe Maybe it needs to be a little bit more red, right? You can shift the primary red to be more of a pink or more of an orange, depending on what you're trying to do, and then adjust the saturation of that. The same thing with your greens. You can adjust that and adjust the saturation. And of course, the same then with your blue channel. So these are some really, really cool color grading tricks. And you can see uh, a little before and after we just messed around with our image. Very subtle, but kind of significant. These are color grading tips in Photoshop using the Camera Raw Editor. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.